Let's take a look at Wave Insight, an easy-to-use application to conduct over-the-air performance testing of wireless LAN access points and broadband gateways. In this example, we are testing a home gateway. This device supports 802.11n 2x2 MIMO and has dual radios, one in the 2.4 GHz band and one in the 5 GHz band. The goal is to test First, the performance we can expect from an 802.11n laptop when connected to the gateway in the 5 GHz band. Second, the performance we can expect while another legacy non-11n laptop is connected to the 2.4 GHz band. And finally, what happens when a legacy non-11n laptop is added to the 5 GHz band? Now, let's look at the test setup. The home gateway is connected to a VariWave traffic generator analyzer that creates test traffic via the gateway's Ethernet port. Wave Agent, a tiny software test utility, is loaded onto each of the laptops participating in the test. Wave Agent receives the test traffic and analyzes the effective good put achieved by the home gateway. The test is controlled from Wave Insight the test application running on the computer connected to the VariWave Traffic Generator Analyzer. To start the test, we activate Wave Agent on the 802.11n laptop. This is done by simply double-clicking on the Wave Agent application file in the file browser. Now, let's connect the Wave Insight application to the VariWave Traffic Generator Analyzer. Next, we configure the traffic flow to the 802.11n laptop. We will test the downstream UDP good put from the home gateway to the laptop. We will attempt to push 200 megabits per second of traffic to the laptop and use frame sizes of 1400 bytes. The test will run for 15 seconds. All that's left to do now is press the Start button. Wave Insight scans for the Wave Agent running on the laptop and, once found, starts sending the desired traffic to the laptop for 15 seconds. At the conclusion of the test, the good put and packet loss are displayed in the results column. In addition, a PDF report is also automatically generated. In this example, we can see that the 802.11n client has achieved a good put of 113 megabits per second. Now, let's add a second legacy laptop using the 2.4 GHz band. We will attempt to push 40 megabits per second to the legacy client. Obviously, while utilizing the 2.4 GHz radio to serve the legacy laptop, the 5 GHz band is still used to serve the 11N laptop. Let's look at the results. The legacy laptop achieved a good put of 22.45 megabits per second. The 11N laptop, using the first radio, still achieved a good put of 110 megabits per second. We can also view the good put results over time as the test runs for the 11N laptop and for the legacy 11G laptop. Those over time results are also available in the summary PDF report that is generated at the conclusion of the test. Now, let's add the third laptop. This is a legacy laptop operating in the 5 GHz band. It will therefore contend for the same airtime resources as the 11N laptop.
Now, let's see how the home gateway handles this situation. The results are very interesting. The legacy laptop using the 2.4 GHz band still achieved a good put of 21.49 megabits per second. The legacy laptop using the 5 GHz band also achieved an acceptable good put of 32 megabits per second. However, the 11N laptop seems to be starved of bandwidth and its good put dropped to less than 1 megabits per second. In summary, we found that the home gateway can deliver 802.11n performance. We concluded that the home gateway can handle 11n and legacy traffic simultaneously on two radio bands. We found that the home gateway does not do that well when faced with legacy and 11n laptops contending for the same radio band. Using Wave Insight, we conducted a relatively complex test in less than five minutes. Testing using Wave Insight is very easy. Testing with Wave Insight takes advantage of using a test grade, precise, and repeatable tool, provides real time results, detailed test logs, and a comprehensive test report. For more information about Wave Insight, go to verywave.com or call 503 473 8350.